Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Brewmon's Digi Glitch Show on Ge Geektopia Island. My name is Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back today to show a brand new deck of the new 1.5 cards in it, and it's got a lot of crazy stuff with it. It is what I'm currently playing, because I currently play terrible magic, terrible Digimon, and I like to play big dudes. Yep. So yeah, of course, I'm playing Megazoo. I'm that guy. Um, but we're going over Megazoo and it's going to be a wild ride. So buckle down and we're going to get to it. But before we get into it, guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link will down be, be down below. Go check it out. It really takes a dollar to give us some love and support. We'd greatly appreciate it. And you'll see extra like decks that'll be there or like see them early on if you want to see them early. With that, let's delve into the Thunderdome. So yeah. welcome to the Thunderdome is the name of the deck. And it's just big dudes. Just coming swinging. That's yeah. all. So we're playing one egg right now. Probably going to make it be five, but I don't have the other eggs, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, but right now it's Yokomon. It's the red egg for Yokomon, and it hasn't inherited it, but you're never going to digivolve it, nope. so it doesn't matter. It's just there for color. That's, That's why it's there. For the good old spell. And that's it. Yep. So our first dude that we have is War Greymon. Of course, level six, cost 12, and that's what you're going to be doing. There's no really evolution, but if there was, it costs three. Uh, 11 power, it has blocker, and it also has reboot. So during your opponent's turn, unspin, uh, un, well, unsuspend this thing. And that's really ridiculous because he doesn't have any negatives to swing as a blocker. Yeah, so. so he's just a big dude. So you're like, cool, block, and on your turn on that. Cool, yep. thanks. Yep, super good. Next, we have Machine Dramon. He is a level six as well for a 12 drop, 11,000. He digivolves for five, for four on a uh, digivolution, but we don't do that. Yep. Uh, he's got blocker and his on play trigger is D Digivolve 2 so he can D Digivolve two of your opponent's Digimon two levels Which is really disgusting. Yeah, super gross because you're gonna give them all the mana All the all the memory in the world to play their stuff So they're gonna go to mega really quickly and you're just like cool play this dude D Digivolve that down two levels again Thanks. Just wasted all those cards. Thank you very much. Yeah <laughs> Brywe Ludramon. Did mm -hmm. I even get that? You got card? it right. Yay! <laughs> so it is a blocker, but it's a level six, uh, cost ten, and the uh, strength is twelve, and it's it's just a blocker. That's well, all it it's does. inherited as blocker. It's so inherited. That's what it gives. Oh, yeah, it yeah, gives yeah. inheritable blocker. So you, you're just it's just there. Yeah, it's just a twelve. It's just a twelve power ten drop is what it's there for. Uh, next is Metal Seedramon. He is eleven for a ten k. Uh, he's got Digivolve three, and then on play return up to two of your opponent's level four lower Digimon to their hand. Trash all the Digivolutions of those cards. And then your turn, this card can't be blocked by your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolutions. So this is yeah. there to fight off uh, Rookie Rush, which is still apparent everywhere. It's just, it bounces two little dudes, and that's what it's there for. Uh, Volcanic Draymon comes into play, level 6, uh, cost 11, has 10 power, and it has a security attack plus 1, which is aw awesome. And on play, delete all your opponent's Digimon with 4k uh, less, or less, which is very... Uh, yeah. Well, Rookie Rush, right? Yeah, again, this dude helps you fight Rookie Rush. So does your Boar Greymon and your Machine Dramon because they're blockers. And yep. you just are like, well, I don't care. Uh, next is Durandamon. He has a 10 drop, 12k, level 6, and he gets Inheritable of Piercing. So now your dudes, your level 7s can get Piercing and or Blocker, which is kind of disgusting. And that's all he is. That's it. And this is Phoenix Mon. That's it. It's a 12k power with the power of 10 cost and that's it just yeah. a big dude another 10 drop 12k so hey cool your security is going to be angry always yeah uh next is magna Dramon. he is in 11k or 11 drop for 12 for 10k sorry uh on play if you have three or four security cards trigger recovery two by putting the top two into your security super good and then when attacking you put a level three into play we don't have that so it doesn't matter but yep. he's there to help you get more security and that essentially in this deck, essentially getting more security is more t is two more kill spells. Because you got to remember that unless they have jamming, your dudes are going to win. Yeah. Or going to kill their dude. All the time. Next one is Ragnar Lordemon. <clears throat> is a level 7 with a play cost of 14, but it can also digivolve to 3 red or 3 black. And it's a 14k power. Has security attack plus 1. It has reboot, which is ridiculous. And when digivolving, if you do uh, place 1... Level 1 Jurajamon or Bruludamon from the top of this card, uh, and you gain 3 memory. Okay, put it on top of it, gotcha. Alright, so, the way Ragnalordramon works, we went over him a little bit. Yeah, the last deck. But you have Phoenixmon, if you need to digivolve into Ragnalordramon, you put a Bryweedlydramon under it, or a Durandamon, which in turn gives you 3 memory, and lets you digivolve him for free. 
and it gives you piercing and or blocker, whichever one you use. So it's really cool. And he's got reboot and security tech, so he just gets to be gross. Yes. You're like, cool, swing 14, and I just get to reboot and don't care. Also, what's kind of dumb with uh, Durandamon, at least, because he's the red one, is you have old Omnimon, which is 15 for a 15k. He digivolves off of red dudes. And then when Digivolve and choose one of your opponent's Digimon, delete all the opponent's Digimon that share the name with it. And then when attacking, you bounce the level 6 to your hand to untap him. So with the 10k 12, or the 10 drop 12, so you're like, cool. This He has piercing, because you need an Omnimon to have piercing, because, you yeah. know, that seems good. So you're just like, cool, swing at your dude, piercing, hit your thing, untap, do it again. It's, it's just kind of dumb. It, sounds, it gets gross. Sounds very dumb. The next one is Omnimon Alter S. It is a... Level seven costs 15 for a 15K. Also, Digivolve for six red or black, probably red. And when Digivolving, of course, trigger D Devolve one. So on all, all your opponent's Digimon, trash a card on top of the opponent's Digimon. It has no devolution cards, it becomes level three and can be, can't be trashed anymore. Then delete all your opponent's Digimon with 5K power or less, which is ridiculous. Yeah. And when attacking, yeah, it has more. You may, you may make this uh, Digimon unblockable this turn by returning one of its level six Digimon cards you have to your hand. Yeah, Alter S is, is he is really, really good. Yes. I still do not believe he is worth 160 to $170, no. but he is really, really good. Um, so I, I undervalued how good he is until I started playing him and I was just like, all right. Cause yeah. if, if you swing your, toy, your level six dude at their whatever dude, like that's tapped and they have a blocker, they block you. And you're like, cool, play Alter S after they've blocked. Do you digivolve your other dude and kill that whole stack? Because in our locals, I almost did that to a dude. And he was just like, I think you have Omni S or Alter S. So I'm not going to do that. And I was like, I was really sad that he was <laughs> thought about it. <laughs> like, oh, you know this deck, huh? Because I was going to do a lot of damage that turn. Next up is one of our first spells. It is Kakaitis Breath. It is seven drop for remain. Return one of your opponent's Digimon to its owner's hand. Trash all Digivolutions of that card. And then it's got a security of activates this card's main effect. So if it's in your security, then you hit that top dude and bounce all and bounce it and then trash the rest. Which is so good. It's so strong. And then of course, we have to have Gaia Force, hence why the egg is here. So it costs eight uh, main delete one of your opponent's Digimon. And of course, it has a security effect that does the exact same thing. So yeah. Yeah. And then for the blue to play Kakaitis Breath, we do have Matt Ishida and the Metal Sujurmon, but mostly for Matt. He's a two drop tamer, start of your turn if your opponent has Digimon with no Digivolutions, gain one memory. And security, you can play this without paying his memory cost, so you get him for free. But hands down, I, I will always stand by this Matt as one of the best, like the top three tamers of Digimon right now, because it's just so strong for you. Because if you have multiples, you get multiple triggers of it. So you're like, cool, start of my turn, I get three memory because you have yeah. one blocker. Because you got to remember, they're going to play a blocker just to stop you. And that gives you a free memory. And in this deck, that's memory, free memory on your side is better because you're always going to give them a lot. Yeah, exactly. So that's one less that they get if you think about it that way. But Matt is super strong and he helps you play Kakaitis Breath. That's why he's there. Yeah. Overall, though, this deck is super fun. I got third in the locals that we played up here. Uh, Sarismon got me just barely. But uh, overall, it's a really fun deck. It's super easy to play. You just get to be like, hey, cool, you're at 12 mana every turn. Yeah. And they got to deal with it. Uh, but overall, the deck list will be down below. Hopefully, we'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel. And then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.